Hello fellow foliage fanatics. My friends call me Finchy and today's video is a culmination of plants I should have repotted a month ago. Stuff I should have done in September. I have picked out four plants that very much need some attention and I have them in front of me. They are all in moss, which is my least favorite thing to touch when it comes to plants. Right there above mushy rotten things. So it's about as low as you can go. These are just a few of the probably a hundred plants that currently need attention in my collection. And I figured I would just grab a couple and we will get started. I don't want to deal with that. That's not fun. But I love them and they need it, so I'm going to touch it. For the most part, they all look very healthy, I guess, except for one is kind of super mad. But this is, this is the situation that I can see. And this has only been in there since July. So, being this is the only one that I can see, and the other ones have been in there longer, I'm going to assume that it's not good. The, I already forgot what it's called, Epiprimnum panatum. Got a little bit of yeeky root. You. Look at it, I don't want to touch it. I'm going to break it apart, like, just a tad. Oh my gosh, the stick goes so far down in there. Wow, okay, so this bottom node doesn't even have any roots on it. That's crazy. Why? So this is the lowest node on this. No roots. I don't even see like, I mean it might be under the leaf, but that's crazy. For how much roots that were in this and none of that was from that section. And I did rip it off like, there's still a lot of roots. What kind of pole do I have for you, if any? I don't think I have a pole yet. Let's see. So, because I'm not going to put it on a pole, I'm just going to, I'm just going to shove this node up underneath there too. Grow roots and stuff, okay? Your grandma node, not, not smart. The rest of her children, smart. Every time I have a garbage bowl, I always think about Rachel Ray. So I'm just going to add some really fluffy moss to this. Make a big mess in the process. That's alright, that's okay. We gotta clean up anyway. I'm gonna stick some of the moss I pulled out of it back in it. Honestly, the main reason I even have to do this is because it's just thirsty all the time. Like this, this thing was drying out like every three days or something. And I just, I don't got time for that. I just, I ain't about that life. Another rock. <laughs> this stem won't stay down. I don't know if this will do anything, but I think I'm just gonna shove it right back in. Well, it's so weird that it didn't have any anything on it. I like to put them right on the edge because I'm so nosy. I hope you're happy. Or, I mean, not that you were miserable before. One done. I didn't even wear a glove. I'm so proud of me. 
Here is the Gloriosum. I traded a heart leaf. Yeah, I traded a, heart, a piece of heart leaf, I think, a couple months back for this when it was one leaf. And he's so happy. She's crawling to the edge of. Oh. She's looking for somewhere to go. So we're going to help her. Looks pretty good to me. I think the problem, I end up with dead roots on the outside because these just dry out so fast. It's really annoying. I wish I had a square or rectangle pot. This is not gonna buy very long, but I'm thinking, do I have anything? I don't even have anything that I could go like s s kidnap to use for a square, a rectangle. Because if there was something, I'd go get it. so good. Whatever moss this person used when they sent that to me, that was some good moss. This smells really good. There is a hummingbird outside. It wants to join me. Welcome, friend. Okay, this moss is a little bit more wet now. I don't, I don't like it. You can actually see the like the color difference. That's crazy. Like where it's the more wet versus the dry. It's okay. Seriously, we're gonna get like one leaf and I'm gonna have to like send another pot next to it or something. That is ridiculous. But I had to have it. It wants to run away from me, but I had to have it. I'm just a sucker for a heart-shaped leaf. There's a Goryosum pillow right here. <laughs> Twins. This plant makes me really happy. All right, all right. Oh, this is the one I'm dreading the absolute most. William. William, William. Every time I say William, I think of the Shel Silverstein poem. What, what is it? William Tell, William Tell, take your arrow, grip it well. There's the apple, aim for the middle. Oh well, you just missed by a little. <laughs> that's not what he's named after, but that's just what it makes me think of. He's not really named after anyone in particular, but my best friend's son is named William and it just, I don't know, it's a good royal name. Oh my god, I can't get it out. There's no getting it out. Oh, it's awful. Oh, it's so awful. Somebody come do this for me. This is a perfect way to start off October because I'm horrified. Oh, that is the worst thing I have ever seen. I mean, it's not, but I hate it. I don't want to do this. What am I going to put it in? That is so much. What's this? Oh, this is awful. I don't... I don't think that I can do... I don't think that there's untangling this. I think we just pop it in some more moss and hope for the best. Honestly. This feels like a block of ramen noodles. 
camera is not doing it justice. It is really bad. I got this in February and it needed a repot then. It's October. I don't even... It looks like worms. <laughs> I don't see anything rotten though. That's crazy. This plant is so resilient. Okay. I want to break it up a little bit, but I think I'm just gonna... Oh my gosh, it's like a lot of perlite. This is exactly the pot that I got it in. What the freak is that? It looks like a, like a bug. What is that? I'm horrified. Ugh. I'm sure it's like an old leaf or something, but... Next time I get a plant that I say I really need to repot it, I'm... I'm gonna remember this. I hope I don't just have this disgusted look on my face, because... I feel... The moss in the middle is really good. Like, it's inside in the middle, it's like still super fluffy and clean and not algae. There's no rot at all. So I am just gonna... Let me get some... Honestly, if, if he can live in that, he can live in this, right? Like, <laughs> this is a forever moss plant. You live in moss forever, William. That is terrible. <laughs> I only have a little bit of wet moss left, so hopefully I have enough. He's already got roots on the edge. Oh, I hope that's what he needed to give me a leaf and it not be... First off, the newest leaves have been really small. The leaf that I cut off was like over a foot long. I don't know if I have a picture or anything of it. If I don't, I'm dumb. But I kind of did it willy-nilly at like 1 o'clock in the morning, so it really wouldn't surprise me. William, I hope you feel better, sir. final plant <laughs> the final plant is my El Choco yellow look at that that looks so gross this one already is like this one's still turning yellow it just bleh. but See, that's not even roots, that's a, the stick, a stick in moss. Very healthy root situation. And I honestly think that it has just yellowed because it just dries out all the time. Like, I, I have another plant upstairs that I probably should have grabbed as well. That is just thirsty every time I look at it. Every day. And this was one of them. So, now I'm not going to mess with this guy too much. I'm just going to break it a little bit and stick him in a slightly bigger hold. I'm also not pulling these yellow leaves off. I'm gonna let him keep them until he wants to let them go. I used to pull yellow leaves off when I first got plants, like I wanted them to all look perfect, but now I want it to have as much as it can take and I even, I don't mind it being ugly for a little while. It's a circle of life. My plants love me when I'm ugly. They better. I think I have just enough moss. That's crazy. I'm glad I only picked four. And I put just the right amount of water in this too. What am I, a psychic? Ta-da. I know, the yellow makes it look 
not as impressive but I promise we'll see her in a month and she'll be so much better look how nice and fluffy Ugh. what a mess what a mess yes sitting in the floor I made less of a mess it is more contained to the table gosh this is so heavy now it doesn't need the rocks to stand up right anymore. These are children. I always dread doing stuff like that and then once it's over, I feel so accomplished and happy and proud and excited to see how they respond. Hopefully they don't like the freak out. I feel like if any of them do, it'll be this one because he was already mad. But who knows? All four of these are gonna go back upstairs into the Millsbo and we will check on them again in the future. That was my nap time chore for today, so I appreciate the company. I get emotionally invested in other people's plants and the concept of anyone being emotionally invested in mine makes me feel bad because I'm, I'm also afraid I would kill them. Taking bets in the comments on which ones you think that I've murdered. I've tried to murder these, all four of these. The past 10 months have been a long series of attempted assassinations that have been unsuccessful. Perhaps this was it. My battery is about to die and I can hear my child awake. So it is time for me to go. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I love plants. I love every kind of plants. I just want to hug all of them, but I can't get hug every plants.